ഇവിടെ കോൺസെപ്റ്റ് ഇനി ഹരി സോറി ഓവർലോഡിങ് ഓവർലോഡിങ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഓവർലോഡിങ് ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ആൾ എ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഇഫ് എറ്റ് ആൾ എ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ മോർ ദാൻ വൺ ടൈം ഇൻ എ ക്ലാസ് വിത്ത് ഡിഫറെന്റ് ആർഗ്യുമെന്റ്സ് like comma number of hours if it all a function more than one time in a class with different arguments like type of hours comma number of hours if we write then that concept is overloading if at all a function more than one time in a class with different arguments like type of args number of args if we write then that concept is called overloading same function we are writing number of times if you write the same function number of times automatically it will show error but here we are writing the same function but with different arguments like type of args or number of args if we write then that concept is called overloading if at all a function more than one time in a class with different argument like type of arguments a number of arguments if we write then that concept is called overloading same function i am writing number of times in the class same function i am writing number of times in the class so, so that concept is called overloading so very very important concept so before going to this concept first of all we should know one definition variable what do you mean by variable variable is nothing but it is a name given to a one memorial equation which can hold the value which can hold the value that value will be changed in future number of times it is a name given to a one memory location which can hold the value that value will be changed in future number of times how many times you want that many times we can change the value so that is called variable so it is a one memory equation i am giving one name which can hold the value that value will be changed in future number of times variable syntax data type variable name data type variable name equal to value into a equal to 10 simply we can write data type variable name equal to value data type variable name equal to value so data type int variable name a equal to value and giving value 10 into a equal to 10 so what is variable it is a name given to a one memorial equation which can hold a value that value will be changed in future number of times how many times you want that many times we can change the value so that is the reason we are calling that is variable so today concept is overloading if at all a function more than one time in a class with different arguments like type of arguments or number of arguments if we write it, then that concept is called overloading go to eclipse
same function we will write number of times Go to SRC, take the new class. <laughs> and taking one class over, click on finish. And writing one function, public static void add into a comma into b into res variable into res equal to a plus b S Y S Y control space or yes same function I am writing number of times into a comma into b comma into c double a double b so first and second is first function and the second function is example for number of a argument example so in the first function i wrote two arguments second function i wrote three arguments so first and second is example for number of arguments first and third is example for type of arguments double a double so first and first function we have two arguments second function we have three arguments third function we have only two arguments with a different argument different data type double data type i am taking so if at all a function more than one time in a class with different arguments like type of arguments number of arguments if we write then that concept is called overload so add function i am passing the values Add ten comma twenty. It will execute first function. Ten comma twenty. Add ten comma twenty. It will execute first function. Why is it showing error? Oh, ho. Add. 10 comma 20 comma 30 it will execute second function add 20. it will execute third function this is the concept of overloading save click on run we can get result 30 60 0 0.5 0 0.5 that is the concept of overloading concept if it all a function more than one time in a class with different arguments like type of arguments number of arguments if we write then that concept is called overloading so same function we are writing number of times in the class same function we are writing number of times so odd function i am writing number of times with different arguments or type of arguments if we write then the concept is called overloading 
if at all a function more than one time in a class with different arguments like type of arguments or number of arguments if we write then that concept is called overloading concept so same function i am writing first and second is example for number of argument example first and third is type of argument example right that concept is called overloading over sir each and every time we are writing void why we are writing void that is the one of the concept why why we are writing void i don't want any return value that is the reason we are writing void i don't want any return value i don't want any return value that is the reason we are writing void if you want to return value in the place of void we should write the data type once if you write the data type it will give the return value once if you write the data type it will give the return value public static void we are writing so every time so when we are declaring function every time we are writing void why we are writing void so i don't want any return value that's the reason i am writing void if you want to return value in the in the place of void you should mention the data type once if you mention the data type it will give the return value so how it will give return value we will discuss how it will give the return value we will discuss so in the place of void i am writing data type int so if you write data type so it will give return value just write return i don't want to return value that is the reason we are writing void if you want to return value in the place of void we should mention the data type once if you mention the data type it will give the return value return in the place of void we are writing the data type int return a double it will give the return value so that return value we need to store into one variable into x equal to into y equal to double z equal to so we can print it so s y is for control space x s y is for control space y s y is for control space z save click on run same output is same 30 30 0 0.5 no 30 a plus b plus c save click on that 30 60 0 0.5 so here you should remember only one thing so if it if you uh, just we declare as a integer so here we declare as a integer we can pa we can't pass decimal value we can't pass decimal value zero point we can't pass decimal value automatically it will show error we can't pass decimal value we can't pass decimal value we can't pass decimal value so if it is double we can pass the integer values two comma three we can pass the integer value so result should be 5.0 result should be 5.0 save click on that result should be 5.0 so if it is integer we can't pass decimal value if it is decimal we can pass we can pass integer value so that is the concept that is the concept of overloading and void overloading and void concept overloading and void concept it's very easy concept simple concept that is the concept overloading 